For more than 25 years, there's been a medieval castle under construction in France. The builders and designers here are using plans and techniques that are as historically accurate to the 13th century as possible. Guédelon Castle is experimental archaeology and a tourist attraction. The techniques rediscovered here, they're now helping with the reconstruction of Notre Dame Cathedral. But I'm here for one very specific piece of technology that I'd never heard of, and which to me feels like something out of the anachronistic fiction of Asterix or the Flintstones. It's called the treadmill crane, and it is a real thing from history. Now, I'm not an archaeologist or a historian, so I'm going to let someone tell you about this place and about this crane, while I actually go and get some stone and learn to power this thing. So when we say we're building a medieval castle, of course, we have to be very clear about which period of the Middle Ages we're interested in. So we've narrowed down our area of interest to the 13th century. To be even more precise, when we laid the first stone, we said it was the year 1228, and each year we move forward in history. So this year on site, you are in the year of our Lord, 1253. So in order to find out what technology was available at that time, we have a number of different sources. We use uh, illuminated manuscripts, stained glass windows, financial records. Of course, we work with archaeologists, art historians and castellologists. And so we put all that information together in order to decide how the castle should be built. Sometimes we know how to do it. Sometimes these skills have never been lost. Others have been completely lost and we have to then revive them from scratch. The castle itself will be finished in about another 10 years. So we're taking about 35 years in all to finish the castle, which is a really long time compared to the Middle Ages, because one of the reasons uh, that we're building this castle is to show the visiting public. So half the time my colleagues are putting down their tools in order to explain the work we're doing. So here we are at the single drum winch. Okay. So, so that needs to go up there. Yes, okay. we can provide the tower with those rocks so we can build it. Okay. We might say that we're building a 13th century castle, but in terms of health and safety, we're clearly in the 21st century. So you will see anachronisms on site. We have hard hats, steel toe cap shoes, protective eyewear, masks when we're working with the sandstone from the quarry. All the scaffolding is heavily reinforced. So obviously we're not trying to discover how many people were killed or injured in the 13th century. So take care of your back. The castle that we're building here today is the castle that would have belonged to a low-ranking, local, fairly modest nobleman. This isn't a royal castle. It's essentially being built as a private home, but there will be defensive elements within the castle. There'll be a portcullis, there'll be murder holes, arrow yeah. loops, crenellated walling, uh, and all of this, even though there's very little chance that the castle would have been attacked in the middle of the 13th century, these features are still in place. You never know. There's not any fancy modern pulleys or anything like that, no, it's just, no, it just diameter of this versus yes. diameter of this. Yes, it's <laughs> like if you were uh, making an effort of five flight of stairs. So if you are walking 10 meter is one meter up. It's like a giant gear, basically. So we have a couple of single drummed cranes and we also have a double drummed tread wheel winch and the advantage of that particular piece of machinery is that it, it pivots through 360 degrees so that allows us to hoist loads up from the quarry and then spin the machinery around and place it exactly where we need it on the masonry. With the double drum winch we can hoist somewhere in the region of 500 kilos that's a thousand pounds in weight with the single drum winch well there's one person working so it's half 250 kilos roughly. So I'm going to lift 200 kilos. With this one. All one, right. 150, 200. <laughs> OK. Safety is obviously paramount when we're using this machinery. So we have someone who's responsible for applying the brakes. It means that there's no danger of someone spinning around like in a, in a washing machine. We have someone who's at the base responsible for charging the cradle. And then one person who is in charge of the whole operation, keeping an eye on how far the walkers still have to walk. Because of course, when you're in the machine, you can't necessarily see. So it's a very carefully managed process. This is a technology that goes back to Roman times, but which is being used in the 13th century in cathedral construction. We know that they were in use because there are a number of medieval cranes that still exist in the roof timbers of cathedrals. Canterbury Cathedral, for example, has a, a wonderful example of that. Are you going to be on the brake? Does it yes. have a brake? Look, this is no more brake. You oh. can see here. Yep, so it's just friction on that. that yeah. There's no evidence of a braking system on these medieval cranes. For safety reasons, we've included one so that we can stop it if necessary. Strictly speaking, if all's well, you just stop walking. Okay. Okay, just go ahead and yep. watch your head. All right. And right now this won't move because you're on the brake. So 
you can look at fixed points yep. to help you. Yeah, because if I'm looking at this... Yeah, it will be Disneyland. Yep. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Just walk. Walk. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> look to the side. If I look ahead, <laughs> it gets really confusing. Got to look that way. Yeah. Got to look that way. Hey, but it's working. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> oh, you're right about that fixed point. Yes. I looked forward for a bit and started getting dizzy. I'm just walking up a steep hill. There is some kind of feedback loop. The faster I walk, the faster it turns. Then the faster it pushes me back, because of course I'm, I'm moving more. But then I risk bashing my head into the axle behind me. In case you're wondering, yeah, it is quite tiring. <laughs> So these machines are absolutely necessary in the construction process. We couldn't build the castle at the rate we are without them. We hoist somewhere in the region of three metric tons every day. There we go. Okay. Okay. And stop. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> for your first medieval crane. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, didn't expect quite the tourist, the tourist applause there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Always. <laughs>